The Bears coming out today and saying through their coach and through their general manager that they acquired Nick Foles to create an open competition at quarterback. Yeah, so the Bears Twitter just tweeted this out about uh, 14 minutes ago. Yep. Ryan Pace saying, we've talked to both players. We it's have. an open competition. Matt Nagy adds, we're trying to do what's best for the Chicago Bears, plain and simple. Mitch will be going first in the huddle, according to Nagy, when we walk out on the first day, whenever it is, whether it's OTAs or whether it's training camp. I'll tell you what, I'd sign for training camp right now. It ain't going to be OTAs. Yeah. Uh, quote, I can promise you this. It's going to be extremely fair. Keep it fair. Keep it fair. <laughs> Keep it fair. It's going to be competitive in a good way. It's going to be healthy competitiveness. Healthy competitiveness. Yeah, I think when you bring in a Super Bowl MVP, it's healthy uh, competitiveness. It's going to be competitive. You know where there's never any healthy competitiveness? <laughs> At the quarterback position. When you're trying to find QB1. Never is healthy. I don't believe. Look, I've been around this sport for a decade and a half plus, 17 years. This is going to be my 18th National Football League season right on. at the helm of NFL Network. I've seen it all. I've seen a lot. And the one place where nobody wants competition is quarterback. Don't want it. Don't want it, and I'm telling you, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants to go into a season saying, this is the guy. Everybody wants to go into a huddle saying, this is the guy. You don't want two guys. Don't. And it pisses off the rest of the team. Okay. It pisses off the rest of the team because the quarterbacks don't want it. And yet, the rest of the team has competition at their spot every single day. So, you know, coach can say it's healthy, and it, it might be healthy in the regard that it does let everybody at the defensive positions and every other offensive position that it does have competition every single day, every snap, every moment. Hey, we're still doing it for the quarterbacks too, so there you have it, right? That's the only healthy part about it. Other than that, not so healthy. You think Bears fans want Foles? I, I, I get that feel from Here's Bears fans. Here's what they want. They don't want the competition. They want choose one, go with them. Right. And it needs to be Trubisky. Because Trubisky. Well, not for fans. It, it needs to be Trubisky. Because he's the guy they traded up and got. He's the guy they traded up and got. Instead of two other guys who have been dynamite, including the reigning Super Bowl MVP and a quarterback who could have been MVP had he continued on the manner in which he did have in the middle of the season into Sean Watson. And the general manager who made this decision is still there. So it's best if it's Trubisky because... Whew, we didn't blow it. Tell them from the sports fans' potential. When it all comes down to it, you want wins. Right. The problem with falls is, which falls are you going to get? Now that's the question. You're going to get the St. Louis Rams falls? You're going to get the pre-Chip Kelly Eagles falls? You're going to get the Jacksonville Jaguar falls? Or are you going to get the St. Nick? Now St. Nick, though... Except for the Chip Kelly era, you just uncorked and you got the perfect vintage and it wasn't a corked bottle of quarterback. You got the aerated, beautiful bouquet of quarterback vintage St. Nick Cabernet. That's what you got. But in Chicago, you're going to need that from start to finish. You're going to need that the whole time. Certainly, if Foles does what we heard Chris Long predict, he's going to beat him out. And if he beats him out. Oh, baby. If he beats him <laughs> out, there's nothing healthy about it. Because it's over. Now, I very rarely make these sorts of black and white 
statements because you never know. He could beat him out. Week five, Bears are four and one, Foles is rolling. And he's three and two, Foles is kind of rolling, gets hurt, which has happened. Trubisky comes off the bench. House money. House money. Okay, Mitch, time for you to do it. House money. Because Nick's going to come back at some point, and he takes the job over. I'm giving you the rosiest possibility if he doesn't get the gig. If he doesn't get the gig, he will have to get it back due to injury because if Foles doesn't perform well, and then they go to Mitch, now you're just switching quarterbacks. Nothing healthy about that. Then you're potentially creating factions. I want Nick. I want Mitch. Within your own house. Nothing healthy. The competition at quarterback is very rarely healthy. When you have two quarterbacks, you sometimes don't even have one. You've got zero. I will never forget sitting on the draft set the day after Washington drafts RG3 second overall after trading a whole host of Snyder Bounty and putting it in the lap of Les Snead in his first year as the GM there in St. Louis, I believe it was. After all that fanfare, RG3 drafted second overall, and he strolls down the street and does that Live 30 Rock show, right, at NBC. Kim Kardashian was Kim there. Kim Kardashian was there. That created all who, huh? Sure did. One of the oh, yeah. one of the most viral moments our Rich Eisen show, a Rich Eisen podcast ever created. Google that. I'll never forget day after all of that. Washington Redskins select Kirk Cousins out of Michigan State. Now you got two quarterbacks. I look down the set. I look at Mayock. I'm like, what's this all about? And he was his typical Mayock. Whoa, 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 Rich. This is just, you got to back up. You got to build your quarterback room. You got to do all that stuff. And I was basically saying, Mike, I I know this is the evaluator, cool-headed evaluator in a vacuum, in a bubble conversation. I'm talking about what fans are going to be thinking and saying. If I said this on the air and Mayock Mayock went, this is a typical one of those moments where I go to my Twitter feed during the commercial break because it was not the first night of the draft, so I got to look at my Twitter feed so I didn't have anything spoiled, spoiler alert. It was one of those things where you go to my Twitter feed, happen maybe once a draft every year. Boy, Rich and Mayock hate each other. No, (laughs) we don't hate each other. We're two guys who can go back and forth and have a conversation. And in the commercial break, I grab one of Mayock's Mike and Ike's. We have a good time. (laughs) By the way, that guy had a sweet tooth for Mike and Ike's. Probably still does. I'm sure there's a whole host of it in the uh, Raiders draft room. That's funny. But I said to him, if Cousins sees the field, that means something catastrophic has gone wrong with RG3 injury-wise or performance-wise. Why draft him? Why draft him? You got a one rookie. Why put another rookie in the quarterback room? You need to have a rookie and a vet. You can't have all these rookies. And I know Mike Shanahan at the time, he's Mr. Quarterback. Who knew at the time Mike really wasn't sold on RG3? Nothing healthy when you got to. Oh, man. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I got a sense of it. And does not bode well for Mitchell Trubisky unless what Matt Nagy said today, that he's a competitor and he's going to handle it. And he's going to take the reins and he's going to tell St. Nick, you are staying inside the cellar, sir. Keep on aging. Like the fine wine you are, I'm going to be the Carson Wentz here, and I'm not going to get hurt, and you're not going to get your opportunity. But we're going to be good friends because you're class act A+. And we will have a great relationship. That's the one thing about this about Foles that will be healthy. Their relationship will be healthy. The competition, though, I don't think it will be. But we shall see, won't we?